Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fazan Ilahi, and we are going to see how we can send uh, push notifications to our local devices without using cloud functions. We will use Firebase for this purpose. Uh, we will use uh, Firebase cloud messaging service to sending push notifications on, diff on different devices. Now let me demonstrate how we will going to use uh, do that. Uh, you can see that uh, we have two devices, Pixel 2 and Pixel 1. Whenever the user presses on the add icon, uh, it will send the incremented value to the other device. Uh, let's suppose uh, I press on the plus icon here. It will send a notification to this device. Uh, if I uh, add, press add on this icon, it will show the increment on the same device because I am using the same a MAC address or token address uh, to sending the request. So let's get to the code. First of all, you have to create uh, a Flutter application and uh, then you have to create a Firebase project. Like I have created a push notification project. And then you will have to add your application or configure your application uh, in this project. You can add app using Android or iOS, whether you are looking for. When you click on the add icon, uh, Android icon, it will give you some instructions. You have to follow these, and uh, I have followed these instructions already. And uh, I have to place the Google JS uh, services JSON file and uh, the required services. After that, you have to uh, install these services and these packages or plugins in the Flutter application. So first of all, Firebase Core. To initialize your Firebase Firebase in your application, after that Firebase messaging uh, for receiving messages from Firebase and Flutter local noti notifications to show notifications on the device and the HTTP request to send notifications on different devices. Okay, on the target device you can say uh, for uh, Firebase core and messages. We have to do setup in build.gradle file and also for the local notification package. Uh, we have to use uh, compile SDK version 33 and uh, min SDK version 21 and multi text enabled true. Also, we have to implement these three libraries. You can find these libraries in Flutter notification, local notification documentation. And uh, that's all for the configuration side. Now let's get to the code. First of all, uh, we have main code. We will see. We will ensure widget widget Flutter binding. After that, we will initialize Flutter uh, Firebase app and uh, Firebase messaging services. And after that, we will ask for permission for notification permissions with the uh, Flutter notifications. We will create a lo local notification plugin instance and uh, we will uh, call for permission. After that, we will get a permission. Like you can see, I have a true permission over there. I am printing this using log statement. And after that, uh, this is not necessary. You can ignore log, but you can use this simply. After that, Firebase messaging dot on background message. Uh, we like uh, sometimes we like to call a service or we, or we want to run a function on background whenever we receive a function we, whenever we receive a message so we can do this function uh, this is handling a background message i will show you the live example when we will see it running in an action after that we have run app uh, this run app function will render our application in our device now as you can see uh, we are setting red accent as our theme of as theme of our application, and the rest of the code is in my home page. Here we have three variables: a counter variable for uh, managing our application counter counter application, a token. We I'm describe I will describe this token later on, and a Flutter local notification variable. This will handle our local notifications. 
okay we have an iterate function before uh, understanding all this we, we have to uh, let's understand our ui first i have a scaffold and i have a at the top in the body i have a center widget and a column widget in this i am showing a device token and uh, how many times the button is pressed okay and a uh, floating action button which is uh, I'm calling a function increment counter after that we have uh, now what is uh, device token device token is a unique address like mac address or ip address uh, which identifies a device we are uh, firebase gives us a device token on which we can send on which we can send uh, notifications or different pop-ups okay now let's see what is in init state first of all we have request permission what is this uh, request permission function doing first of all we are initializing firebase messaging instance and after that we are setting uh, for our notification uh, here are different options uh, uh, which we want to turn on or not, turn on or not you can customize on your requirement after that we are checking the status of our permission we are uh, requesting permission from our device whether to receive notification or not after that we have get token what is this get token doing get token is uh, uh, fetching the token from the local device uh, firebase messaging allows us to get the token get token returns a unique token return the default fcm token for this device uh, it returns a string of future we will wait for this and then we will uh, log this uh, token we will print this token on console and uh, i am storing this token in token value to show this on screen you can store this on uh, firebase or where whatever database you are using for later use after that we have in init info function in this function we are setting our local notifications we are setting icon for android and uh, settings for uh, darwin uh, i mean ios we can also set uh, for my mac os and linux based on our requirements after that we are uh, setting for later notifications whenever the user taps on the notification or taps on the action what should be done let's suppose i am tap i tap on the notification here it will take me to the next screen as described here similarly you can uh, go along with and go with the uh, tap action button after that we are using fire uh, listen listener on firebase messages uh, it is uh, it will be listening the messaging messages of, of firebase uh, which is sending which is being sent now let's try sending another message and we are getting here print statement this and uh, print statement this now you can see we are receiving message on different devices uh, we are preparing information to show on device we are uh, preparing the body of the notification and the image of the notification and uh, we are setting the channel and uh, messages channel channel details and the priority of the channel notification and if you want to play sound on the notification you can do this and for large icons and for actions you can set all these from here and android notification detail same for the uh, darwin notification details. you can set all these settings i am not set, uh, setting these just i am giving you the example and after that uh, we will call show function which will send the notification on the device this is the init info function after that uh, we have increment counter we have increment counter in which we are increasing the value by one and after that we are sending the notification now in this notification function we are we have title body to and icon let's first see what is what this function is doing uh, we have an uri we have a uri in which uh, which is uh, 
from the Google APIs uh, for FCM and SAN. We will use HTTP POST method and uh, we will use this API. Uh, here in the body we have uh, different uh, options to, uh, on which device we want to send the notification and what is the title body and channel and icon of the notification or device and uh, after that we have data payload uh, now the key uh, where should uh, where you will get this key now you have to go to your fibers project and in the settings project settings uh, you will go cloud messaging you can see uh, it is enabled a cloud messaging api is enabled uh, initially it is disabled how you can enable it uh, you will click on the manage api in google console or it is enabled right now i will disable it to show you how you can enable it okay i will disable the api now i will refresh the page uh, now let's see this is the initial uh, setup for you on your firebase now i will click on the manage api in google cloud and it will take me to the uh, api page i will enable this api and uh, reload this page you can see it's enabling okay i will copy this server key uh, of cloud api now i will paste the server key after that key okay <coughs> now uh, let's see the increment counter function again here i am sending the title as high and body as increment counter number and on which device i want to send this uh, the uh, the token of the device as you can see i have this token printed over there i have copied and pasted it here you can store it on your database and use it later and after that i am sending a image if you want to send or not it's an option okay <clears throat> now let's uh, before testing let's check how our messaging service works from firebase console uh, let me in app messages i want to do app messages this is the actual interface i am using this interface api over there uh, you can see the send notification function this this api refers to this page here you can set notification title and all these things so that's it now let's again test our devices now if i press tab it will send notification to pixel 2 oh sorry i have changed my api i have to restart my both applications it's restarting okay now let's click on the icon okay let's send again now you can see this is the image and this is the action button and whenever i tap on this it will go to the other screen and this is token id and in the console you can see we have message and on message all the details shown over there now let's see uh, if the back is in if the app is in the background mode now if i try to send notification what will happen see it's uh, over there and uh, you can see here now i click on the app and uh, it's here now let's get the app in the foreground mode 
and it shows yes, the instructions so you can see uh, this is working fine you can use this uh, API for sending and receiving your push notifications uh, for free without buying or uh, without using cloud for, uh, cloud functions so if you have any question or queries or, and if you want to cover, uh, cover another, another topic you can message me on discord and uh, or you can comment in the comment section so that's all for now love is and thank you for watching